Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be looking at software. Our learning objective today is to be able to understand the difference between hardware and software and to be able to describe the differences between system software and application software. In a previous lesson we looked at what hardware was. Hardware is essentially the physical components of a computer system. We're now going to look at what software is. Software can be referred to as the programs and instructions that run on a computer. They can be used to complete a wide variety of tasks, such as writing letters or editing images. Without software, a computer is essentially just an empty shell. Software can be split up into two main categories, system software and application software. Some examples of system software are the operating system and utility programs. There are some other examples of system software, such as library programs and programming language translators. These are examples that you probably go into if you studied computer science at GCSE. General purpose software, bespoke software and special purpose software are all examples of application software. We're going to go into all of these softwares in a little bit more detail in this video. Now going into it in a bit more detail, application software is non-essential software that you can install onto your computer. It's used to perform non-computing tasks such as writing letters. It's broken up into three categories, general purpose, special purpose, and bespoke application software. General purpose software is software which allows you to complete a variety of tasks. Special purpose software is software which allows you to complete a single specific task. And bespoke application software is software which is custom designed and made for a specific purpose or a user. Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint are all examples of general purpose software. Word could be used to write reports, create posters, or send emails. Excel could be used to model situations and manage data. PowerPoint could be used to create presentations or even create web applications. Examples of special purpose software include the camera app, a calculator app, or even a music player. All of these softwares carry out one specific function. The camera app will literally just allow you to take photos or videos. The calculator will allow you to perform some calculations and the music app will literally allow you just to play music. Domino's are an example of a business that have created a bespoke software to manage their pizza orders and deliveries. The software is unique to Domino's and they would have gone through a process of hiring a developer to create the software for their specific business needs. Now system software is going to be the main type of software we're going to be looking at in these videos. System software is software that is needed to maintain and operate hardware. Some examples of system software are the operating system, library programs, utility programs, and programming language translators. The operating system could be seen as one of the most important system softwares. It acts as the interface between a user and the hardware. It provides a user interface to make the computer more user-friendly. Some examples of operating systems include Windows 10 and OS X. An open source operating system example is Ubuntu and some mobile platforms include Android and iOS. The operating system will provide a nice graphical user interface to allow all kinds of users to interact with the computer. Usually there will be some form of windows, some form of icons and some menus to interact with. If your computer does not have a nice operating system to work with, you might not have a graphical user interface. You might have to use a command line interface. An example of one is in front of you right now. Um, it's very complicated to use and it is not for the average user. That is why the operating system is needed so that everyone can interact with the computer. Some key functions of the operating system are listed in front of you. The operating system communicates with peripheral devices, provides a platform for application software to run on, controls memory, organizes the CPU, and also manages security. The final type of system software we're going to be looking at is a utility program. A utility program is designed to carry out a specific task to help maintain and run the computer. The formatting tool or the disk cleanup tool could be seen as examples of utility programs. So that concludes this week's lesson everyone. You should now understand the difference between hardware and software. You should also be able to describe some differences between system software and application software. You should also be able to give some examples of these softwares.